Hello everybody. Today we're going to be making Christmas mittens. You will need Dollar um Dollar Tree oven mitts or oven mitts from wherever. This the cotton is the dust the dust mop from Dollar Tree, some glue sticks, some embellishments, um ribbon and something a tool to cut to use to cut the ribbon with. This DIY is very easy. The first thing we're gonna do is to remove the tags. Um, we're gonna do one mitten at a time. When you grab the cotton mop head, the dust mop head, be sure to turn it over because it's easy to easier to cut it from the back of the mop head than it is from the front where all of the like furry pieces are. So just, just a tip, when you're cutting, just make sure you turn it over and cut from the back. And I'm gonna cut this in half so we can use one for one mitten and one for the other mitten. Here you'll see that I'm just getting the fuzzies that's going to fall off. When you're cutting uh, furry material like that, you tend to have like um, part of the fuzzy part that will come off. So to prevent it from falling off any further, I'm just, I'm pulling and refluffing and removing the excess that, that was loosened during the cut. Next, I'm going to take the hot glue gun and I'm going to put some glue at the top of the mitten and I'm going to glue the, the fluffy part down so it'll look like the top of a mitten. And you can see just by doing this little part right here, it's already coming along to look like a pair of mittens, a pair of mittens that you can use for decor. With the loop that is hanging on the side that you would like normally hang your um, oven mitts up with, I kind of push that forward because I'm gonna need that um, during the next step to put my ribbon through. So I just kind of pull that forward and then wrap the remaining of the fur around to the back side of the mitten. Next, I'm going to take some of my embellishments. These are just some um, picks that I got, just that I've, I've collected over time. I usually get these at the end of the Christmas season when things are 70 to 90% off. I'm not sure where I got these from, but this is just some like Christmas tree picks with red berries. And I'm just going to use those to just embellish the top of the mittens that we're doing. You'll see that I have a pine cone that came off of this little um, pick that I have. It's actually a fairly large size pick. It, it, it might have been almost the size of a swag, but it wasn't quite a little swag. But um, this is probably something that I did thrift. 
but I'm just taking wire cutters and cutting off and, and trimming off the pieces that I would like to embellish my mittens with. If you're enjoying this content, guys, I would really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I really enjoy you watching my videos and I'm loving the comments and you guys are the best. At this point, um, this is just to each his own. You can decorate or embellish the mittens how you want. So I'm just gonna take some time and I'm gonna take the pics and I'm gonna decorate my mittens and I'll be back in a moment. Next, I'm going to take some ribbon and I'm going to cut a piece long enough to run through the loop that, that was already attached to your mittens when you bought them. Again, that's the same loop that you would use if you were just using these as regular oven mitts to hang them. You're going to run some ribbon through the loop just to create a hanger for the mittens. And I'm going to repeat this with both mittens and then you will see a picture of both mittens at the end. <music> 